Hey, what's up? This is Jake here in Jake's shop. So it's been a little bit since I've done an update on the car. The, the intake for the LS is uh, months out, apparently. So because I have time, um, I'm, I'm doing this car a little differently than other people might do it. You know, there's a million ways to do anything. Uh, I've done plenty of research and I've um, kind of got a plan for this car and how I'm going to paint it, what I'm going to do. Jamming it is the first thing that I'm going to do. And you know, jamming it is nice for me since I have never painted a car in my life, shot primer, done body work, never actually shot paint myself. So uh, I'm kind of excited. It's going to be really interesting to see. I thought I'd do some time lapse of it and uh, really curious to see what this color is going to look like when I get done with it too. You know, you pick it out of a book and you really don't know. So I'm going to jam this door since it's all done. I've got it primed and prepped. And I'm going to jam the back, or I'm going to, I'm going to also seal and uh, prime, or excuse me, base clear the base of the trunk. Um, I went ahead and used a little cheaper clear when you're doing the jams on the inside of a trunk. You know, I don't need to use the super high end clear. This stuff is expensive, um, but the base coat is what it is, and um, I've got some pretty good stuff. So I'm going to, uh, we'll see what this looks like. All right, let's get some sealer on these panels. Okay, so I went ahead and shot the sealer. The seal, I'm just using a Transtar sealer, and the reason I'm using a sealer is because the color is so dark. Um, you know, it, it's a red. Reds tend to be more expensive in the automotive paint world, uh, especially when there's a lot of pearl in it. So I went ahead and sealed these first with a dark black, uh, you know, flat black once it gets done drying. It's got about a 15 minute flash time. I've got about 75 degrees in the shop right now, and it'll just take probably up to 45 minutes. Now, the one thing about this sealer, this is just a Transstar sealer, but um, it's nice because it, it, you can top coat it really quickly. I've got some thick spots in here where I was touching up the edges, you know, the trucks, trunk and stuff has all these bends in it. Um, I'm gonna have to let it uh, sit probably about 45 minutes. So it's been about 30, um, almost completely dry. I'll start mixing up some paint and uh, we'll shoot some red, see what it looks like.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this second coat of clear. I didn't bother filming the first. A lot of overspray, so we'll see how this looks uh, in the camera. And then uh, I'll show some wrap-up shots. Okay, so second coat of clear is on. You know, uh, some guys will just use a single stage for the underside of a trunk. Um, I'm just trying to practice because I've never done this before, but man, that it shoots nice. You know, uh, this color looks awesome. It's, uh, I don't know, I don't think it looks as good in the camera as it'll look, you know, when the sun's hitting it. It, it just has a ton of pearl in it. So, you know, it's, it's never gonna look as good until it gets on the exterior of the car, but this is a fun little project just to kind of you know, start jamming the car a little bit, get an idea of how the paint flows, how the guns need to be set up. There's a lot of tricks to it. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a little bit of this here as the days progress. Um, next big step will be the dash. You know, that's all gonna be painted and then I'll jam the rest of the jams as well as the trunk jam and the trunk uh, hinges here. So a lot more body work to do to get that ready and lots of masking. So. I'll keep on keeping on. I just thought I'd do a little update and uh, my experience here doing some painting. First time. Uh, hey, if you like this video at all, hit uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.